Ahoy there, Mickey, and welcome aboard another Mickey's Roundtable Adventure. Hoist the mizzen mast and swab the poop deck. There be poop on it. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Roger, or should I say Jolly Roger. For this Mickey's Roundtable Adventure, I decided it would be a Pirate's Day for me. That's right, I set sail over to the Magic Kingdom to explore the Pirates of the Caribbean and the surrounding area. Uh, before I get into all the, of that, uh, really fascinating. Uh, I decided I would do a little bit of research, very little. I was looking up on the on the Wikipedia there. Uh, it is a well-known belief or common belief that a pirate's favorite letter was the letter R, you know, because that's how they talked. R! Turns out that's not true at all. I mean, they did talk like that, but R was not their favorite letter. Turns out it was P. Yeah, because without it, they'd just be irate. All right, so just a little bit of history about the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, some actual history and facts. The original attraction over there in California at Disneyland opened in 1967. It was the last attraction that Walt Disney personally oversaw its development and construction. 1971, Walt Disney World opened, the Magic Kingdom opened. There was not a Pirates of the Caribbean ride. They hadn't planned on including a Pirates of the Caribbean ride, they were going to do the Western River Expedition instead, uh, but guests were just beside themselves. Where's Pirates of the Caribbean? We want Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, we got to have a Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, so the company said, okay, we'll put in a Pirates of the Caribbean. And so that's why we have the version that we have today at Walt Disney World here in Florida. So as you enter Adventureland, you come into the park and you go up to the hub and over through Adventureland, you pass the Jungle Cruise, the best ride at Walt Disney World today. And you keep on going, you see a clock tower and that's Pirates of the Caribbean. But before I rode on the ride, I thought, you know what, I'm, I should do something, something that I've never done before. And I swore I would never do it, but for this video and for you, the viewer, I just said, okay, I'm gonna succumb and I'll do it. I met with Jack Sparrow. Sorry, sorry, Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, they've got a meet and greet with Captain Jack Sparrow there. It used to be uh, further down towards where the Jungle Cruise and the Tiki Room is. There's like a stage there. It used to be there. Now it was down close to where the gift shop is. The original Pirates of the Caribbean over at Disneyland is in New Orleans Square. There's not a New Orleans Square at Walt Disney World at Magic Kingdom. So it's in Adventureland. So it's a very different aesthetic. Uh, kind of colonial Spanish fort kind of a kind of a kind of a feel vibe to it. I really like it. Uh, fortunately, though, <laughs> even though I like it, I didn't have to stand in the line too terribly long. It wasn't uh, very busy. So you go in through the fort, and then they split you off into two different sides. So you board your vessel and head out into the ride. Uh, it's dark. You're in a cave. There's stalactites. There's stalagmites. There's dead pirates. Yeah, yeah uh, skeletal remains of dead pirates that met their doom because of their life of piracy. Uh, from there, uh, it gets really dark, almost pitch black, totally pitch black, and you go down a little waterfall. Spoiler alert. I think I'm supposed to say the spoiler alert before the spoil. Anyway, the idea, as I understand it, going down that waterfall through the darkness, you're going backwards in time to a time when the pirates were actually invading and attacking a real town. For practical reasons, it's so that you go down low enough so you can get underneath the railroad tracks that go around Magic Kingdom there. And then, then, the, I think it's the best reveal of the whole attraction. You come around the corner and you're in, the, you're in a Caribbean port town harbor and there's a pirate ship. Captain Barbosa from those Pirates of the Caribbean movie uh, is up there shouting commands and they're shooting cannons in the water and there's water splashing around. It's, it's really well done. Uh, originally, of course, Captain Barbosa was not part of the attraction. He was added as well as Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow were added to the attraction later on after those movies came out and were wildly successful. But overall, it is a fantastic ride and the original song at the end of the ride holds true to this day. It is uh, a classic Disney go, song. Go, go, oh, a pirate's life for me. We pillage, we plunder, we rifle and loot. Bring up me, hearties, yo ho! We kidnap and ravage and don't give a hoot. Bring up me, hearties, yo ho! Yo ho, yo ho! And then you come to the end, and there's a classic scene of the guys in the jail cell with the dog with the keys. Anyway, uh, from there you exit the attraction. 
And this, like a lot of Disney attractions, not all of them, but a lot, uh, it does end in a gift shop. This is true for Pirates of the Caribbean. I wasn't going to do any shopping, but I was a little bit hungry. So I headed across the street uh, over there to the Tortuga Tavern. So I had a little bite to eat there while I was waiting on the next part of my adventure, a pirate's adventure. Uh, that's literally what it's called. Uh, as you head towards Frontierland, you go underneath that Adventureland breezeway. And on the left-hand side, there's a little building and you go inside there and you scan a magic band or your ticket, or they've got a little, uh, little card they give you you're able to scan and then they assign you a different map there's five different maps i was only able to do four of them because they were they were out of one of the maps the particular day must be a popular thing to do either that or somebody screwed up and didn't order enough maps when you're looking for treasure you need enough treasure maps right so each map is a map of adventureland or a good chunk of it anyway and throughout the uh, area throughout the land there's little icons next to there's there's props there's skulls there's little little items with the images from the map on them so there's a skull and crossbow or cross swords a snake whatever it is and then as you go through they'll assign you the first one so you go to that one and then you scan your again magic band card ticket whatever it is and then stuff happens you seek the treasure of the pacific I will show you where it rests. All kinds of cool stuff, and a uh, treasure chest will open, or... Oh, you must be exceptionally brave to risk my anger. One of the better ones, a skeleton. This is done by the Jungle Cruise. Spoiler alert, uh, comes up out of the water. That one is cool. Parrots talk. I'm just the messenger. My absolute favorite, though, was, because uh, I wasn't expecting it, uh, it's a sign of the symbol is a little snake, uh, and you and you do it. And so I was expecting like a like a snake to come out of a come out of a basket or something. That's what happened, but not where I was expecting it. It was up higher because it's got to be out of reach from guests, right? Uh, it's, but then it sprays venom at you, and uh, I was not expecting that. So that one was fun. But so then after you do each. Uh, thing after you after you scan it after it does its thing it will tell you what the next thing is a little uh, another symbol will light up next to the one that you scan and that's the next one that you have to look for there would be other guests ahead of me at a particular uh treasure spot at a pr particular clue area and they would do it and they would get the parrot for example They'd go off to do the parrot, and then I would do it, and then I would expect to get the parrot. Nope, nope, I would get the skull and crossbones, whatever it happened to be. And so it, it, there is kind of a randomness to it. So then they send you back to the Pirates Adventure headquarters, and then you get another map, and another map, and another map. But so if you come back in another day, you'll get the maps in different orders, and then you might get some of those symbols and areas that are different than the last one that you did. It was fun, I enjoyed it. So the last symbol that I had to go and find ended up being right next to where the meet and greet I had with Captain Jack Sparrow was earlier in the day. So it was kind of fitting, kind of bookended my day, almost. Uh, I was done at Magic Kingdom, but I decided to set a new heading, set a new course over to Disney Springs. 2023 this year is the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company. So they've been re-releasing eight different movies uh, out into the theaters, uh, classic Disney films, Pixar films, and uh, Pirates of the Caribbean was playing when I did this. It's fun, it uh, made for a themed day, which I tend to like those apparently. So until next time, uh, this has been Mickey's Roundtable. I'm uh, Roger, or Jolly Roger, as I said earlier. And always remember, yeah.